Good morning, uh, Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. We're here in the winter time and it's gonna show you our tire tanks that we use for our winter water systems. Um, this is an earth moving tire and uh, it's mounted on a pond. And this pond, you can see the dam up here, that pipe goes at it. It was actually put in the bottom of this dam when this pond was built. And the first thing that I did was right there where those two stakes are, there is a shut off. So I can actually shut this tank off when I'm not using it. And it's got an inch and a half uh, brass valve in there. So it's got an inch and a half flow of water coming out. That cow sitting there drinking is taking out, I don't know, probably five gallons maybe. Well, there's an inch and a half flow continually feeding that thing right back full. And so on a hot day, that thing will hold about 800 gallons. It's, it's a big tank. It's a big tire. Um, the key to a tire tank is to make sure you put gravel around it. And before you put the gravel down, uh, don't even waste your gravel unless you're gonna put geotextile underneath it. Geotextile is a, like a polyethylene fabric and it's really good stuff. You can find it at these, uh, oh, anybody that does construction, you can buy it in uh, 480 foot rolls. It's 12 foot wide. And you notice this tank, I only came out about eight foot all the way around it with rock well then i put landscaping timbers and i staked it this thing's been in for uh let's see 16 years and folks that's one load of rock when i built that i've never put another load of rock down and the reason that rock is still there is these landscaping timbers those are big old cedars when i put them in there the grass has almost covered them up now but it's still holding that rock in there uh, you can see these big chunks of ice See, we just came to this tank um, two days ago. <clears throat> so this tire tank actually saw minus 25 below zero. And the key to a tire tank here in Missouri, don't drain them. Leave the water in them. Let them freeze up. And when you come to it, chop the float out first. So there's a float up there. We chopped that float out so that when that we just got those ice chunks out of there, it never freezes again the whole time you use it. That's just, that water's in there to protect that valve and the water line coming in the bottom of that tire. If you drain the water out of that tank, uh, you will never ever use it the rest of the winter because it'll freeze and it's frozen the water line. So leave the water in there, just chop the ice off when you come to it and you're never gonna have to chop it again. I mean, in the morning at 10 below, you're gonna have two or three inches on there, but nothing like that. That's uh, two weeks of super cold weather that did that. But you see the cattle in here. I mean, this is really high quality water, folks. Um, they're not standing in the pond. It's muddy out here. Look what they're standing on. You see them standing in mud? Do they have mud up in their on their legs? Absolutely not. Keep the mud off your cattle. Give them a nice place to drink. They deserve that. These pipes going over the top, those white pipes, that's fiberglass rods. That's to keep a cow from knocking the calf in there. It also keeps the cow from climbing into that dude. Uh, on a real hot summer day, I've seen cattle climb into tanks and they'll break, they'll break that valve off. So they're, they're a big animal. They get in there and, you know, they can't, it's so deep you can't see the bottom of it. Um, but uh, there is a drain in there. I've got a drain in the very bottom. There you can see the top of, there's a cap on it. Uh, you can take that cap off and in the springtime, and in the middle of summer, just pull that and drain your tank and clean it out. If you don't put a drain on it, you don't have any way to clean it. So yeah, the, the cattle are doing well. They get good clean water. They're standing on a good solid surface. And uh, you know, life is good for these cattle. They're enjoying the wintertime. This is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.